following video is so manly that it can make a woman grow a beard. So if you are a little Justin Bieber, proceed with caution. What is up people, today I'm bringing you gameplay of all the Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4 until Call of Duty Ghosts. This way we can see the evolution of Call of Duty because, uh, I mean, you have gameplay of uh, seven Call of Duties on the same video. Usually you don't see that. So uh, this will allow you not only to uh, be able to see the evolution of Call of Duty, but you will also be able to refresh your memory in case you haven't played any of these Call of Duties in a very long time. Now you're going to witness more or less 1 minute and, um, and 20 seconds of biblical gameplay of all these Call of Duties, you know, using the stuff I like, playing the way I like. And after making this video, I realized that um, all Call of Duties were great, all Call of Duties were fun. The problem is that in some Call of Duties, uh, people exploited bullshit, um, very, uh, they exploited bullshit a lot and it just became uh, very annoying. So the first Call of Duty on this video is Call of Duty Ghosts. And uh, to be honest, I like this game, a lot of people don't like it, it's boring, this and that. I kind of like it because, uh, I mean, you die super fast, yeah, it's annoying, but I like the fact that the hit detection is spot on. And uh, for that reason, I don't mind dying super fast. In previous Call of Duties, you also die super fast. But the problem is that the hit detection is inconsistent. And that is very annoying. And a very good example of that is Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2's hit detection is a little bit uh, inconsistent. And uh, sometimes you kill super fast. Sometimes it takes tons of bullets to kill. And it's very annoying. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I like this game. I also like the fact that the maps are not super small. That way you can think. And uh, you don't, it's not a clusterfuck. You can actually get your kill streaks, and uh, you don't just die over and over again. I also like the, uh, the chainsaw, the riot shield, the shotgun MTS. I, I'm just loving these guns. And uh, it's just amazing. As you can see here, I'm just doing uh, work with the riot shield. I have tons of uh, triple... Uh, kills with a riot shield and it's just it's amazing. I'm loving this game to be honest. The next one is look at this dumbass uh, The next one is Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and as I was saying Call of Duty Black Ops 2 has a has a fucked up hit detection People appear out of nowhere around corners. Uh, you have target finders shock dildos the knife sucked this and that, uh, tons of stuff, tons of uh, very annoying stuff. But um, let's, let's talk about the good stuff. I like the the score system was good, but uh, I think it was hard to get kill streaks. The kill streaks were a little bit too high, and um, it was as I said, it was hard to get the kill streaks. I love the executioner; it was my favorite weapon in the game. I love the the assault shield, even though it sucks. The assault shield sucks. The riot shield in Call of Duty Ghost sucks. The, uh, the Riot Shield in MW3 sucks. The only one good is the one from MW2. But anyways, I just love the Executioner. I love the Assault Shield. I love the, the Crossbow too. It's a shame that uh, it's not in uh, Call of Duty uh, Ghosts. But uh, I mean, I had tons of fun playing with the Shield. I had one, over 1k.5 kills with the Shield. And that's, that's just amazing. I just love the look of this Shield. It's... Uh, it's a beast. Next we have MW3 and MW3. Oh my God, MW3 was a clusterfuck. But I loved, I loved fighting these uh, these jugs, these uh, the assault jug, the support jug with the riot shield. You're gonna see. Uh, you just saw three kills. Uh, you, you just saw me killing two jugs with the riot shield. Right here, I kill another jug with the shield. Obviously, he was uh, very weak. My team pretty much did all the work and I just stole that kill. But you know, I had tons of fun killing jugs. And uh, even though most of the time it was super annoying, as I said, I also had tons of fun playing MW3. And uh, it's a shame that uh, it had so much uh, bullshit because it had potential to be a good game. Next we have Black Ops 1. The King of Kings. I just love this game, people. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to lie to you. This one, in my opinion, is the best Call of Duty ever. Because uh, it's not super fast-paced. And I don't like super fast-paced call, uh, fast call of Duty. Because it's a clusterfuck. People appear out of nowhere, everywhere. It's just, look at this fail. Look, fail, fail. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. And uh, you're witnessing here a five-kill streak with a flamethrower. With a fucking flamethrower. 
I just love it. I loved Call of Duty Black Ops 1 because it had the flamethrower. It has the ma it has a it has the master key. Uh, the game is not over. <laughs> it didn't stop existing. So uh, you have the master key, you have the flamethrower, you have the ballistic knife, you have uh, decoys, you have tons of fun stuff. You have in like what 10 or 12 fun weapons. And, um, you know, just like the AGS-10, the PM-63, the, oh um, the, the Scorpion. Look at this quad with the... <laughs> look at that. Look at that quad with the flamethrower. That's biblical. You have the, um, the Mac-11, the Olympia, the HK-21, whatever, something like that. The Stoner. Uh, most of the SMGs are fun. People say that they suck. I say that they're fun to use. And you're seeing all kinds of stunts here with uh, the flamethrower. And I mean, just, this game is just biblical. You don't die super, super fast. The maps have the perfect size. They're not too small, not too big. And I just love it. I just fucking love it. That's uh, Oh, and also love the fact that uh, you had... Uh, you have to get your uh, kill streaks you with your uh, weapon kill streak like, kills do not count towards oh your God, kill streak and that way it takes more skill and uh, i just love it and that's why a lot of people don't like this game oh well, well, i don't like it yeah i know why i don't like it motherfucker next we have mw2 mw2 just like mw3 was a clusterfuck with noob tubes one man army danger close queer scoping commando lunch I mean, Scavenger uh, could refill explosives until uh, the end of times. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was, this game was crazy. But when, but when uh, you can find, when you could find a lobby without people abusing these cheap tactics, man, this game was fun as hell. I remember having tons of fun when the game first came, when the, when the game came out on the first, what, two months, something like that. Or maybe one month, the first month, it month, it was super fun with the kill streaks and all that stuff. We were used to the three default kill streaks in a World of War, in a Call of Duty 4, and then MW2, MW2 comes out and it has tons of kill streaks, biblical kill streaks. The AC-130, the Pavlo, the Harrier. I just love the Harrier. The uh, the EMP, the Escort, Escort, no emergency airdrop. I mean, this game was fucking biblical, people. You have the master key, as you saw, was a raping face with the master key. Uh, the riot shield. This game made me fall, made me fall uh, in love with the riot shield. And I just, I have been using the shield since MW2. In MW2, in MW3, Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Ghost. I, I just love this weapon. It uh, also introduced us to the throwing knife, which is uh, awesome. And... Uh, the emblems, the call signs, all that stuff. This was a great game. It had great maps. But, as I said, the, uh, look at me doing work here with the shield. Look at that shit. I just love that shit. And uh, if it wasn't for the noobs exploiting fucking noob tubes and all that shit, uh, noob, tubes, noob tube spots and all that shit, this game could still be... Uh, one of the best ever made. Next we have World at War and um, I like this game very much people because it's very simple. It is very simple and I just love that simplicity. You're gonna see me here uh, tearing up face. As I, as you saw I was on a five kill streak right there I called in the artillery which gets me a kill which is amazing because usually the artillery doesn't get any kills and uh, I go on a little 15 kill streak right here and uh, that was a uh, you know it's cool I just love the kill streak indicator in a Call of Duty World at War and also Call of Duty 4. Whenever you get 10 kills, 15 kills, 20 kills, 25 kills, it shows it shows that on the the screen and even the enemy can see that. And that, that was cool because the enemy would get terrorized. They would be like, "Oh my God, the guy is on a 15 kill streak, 20 kill streak." They would just see the kill streak count going up. Uh, every uh, whatever uh, 15 seconds and that would terrorize and that could terrorize an enemy team they would even dashboard but uh this game was epic the um, i mean the mp40 you could say that it's a little bit annoying it doesn't uh, it doesn't really bother me that much but uh, what really made this game very annoying was the bouncing bitches oh my god those bitches were you couldn't see those bitches if you were not using bomb squad and uh you couldn't survive them Whenever they uh, would go off, you were toast. 
you were dead, you couldn't do anything about it. Just look at that, 15 kill streak. And then I get killed by some little bitch. And finally we have the king, Call of Duty 4. This, uh, this game, as I said in the beginning of this video, this game made Call of Duty famous. Call of Duty blew up with Call of Duty 4. Uh, the Call of Duty franch franchise blew up with Call of Duty 4. I, ju I just, I love this game because, again, as I said about World at War, it is very simple and uh, it's pretty much gun on gun. You're done. That's, <laughs> that's what it is in Call of Duty 4. I just love it. I love this gun, the AK. I love the, um, I love the feeling of the game. I don't know what it is, but uh, it feels, it doesn't feel super fast. For example, uh, Black Ops 2, in Black Ops 2 the characters move at, at the speed of light, I don't like that. Uh, Call of Duty 4 had, had everything uh, right, everything uh, balanced, besides uh, the fucking Marty door. Marty Dom, the, uh, the pocket nuke, that thing was, uh, the blast radius of that thing was, uh, was fucking infinite, it could kill you from a, from a mile away. And uh, it was just, uh, it was terrible. And uh, besides, the, and obviously, obviously, frag times three, people spamming stun grenades all over the place. And uh, that was very annoying. So uh, this is uh, my video about uh, all the Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4 until Call of Duty goes. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Peace.